Hello everyone and welcome to episode uh, 17, is it? I think it's 16? No, 17, yeah. 17, 17. I'm Mike. And, and, and I'm Zoe. <laughs> yeah, that's good, and you're Zoe. Uh, and uh, today we are going to start setting up our deck. What I think we will do is we will make a deck of uh, card objects and uh, we will instantiate them at the start of the match, we'll instantiate a certain number, then we will shuffle the deck, and then we will put some kind of debug function to just draw cards. And that's it. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I think that's sufficient for a day. Right, so let's get going. Uh, go to the code. Let's go to Visual Studio. Go to the code. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and you want to go to the game manager. Okay, we are here now where all of the setup functions are up there. Mm -hmm. um, okay, let me show you a new thing. I'm going to move this. Yeah, move my screwdrivers about. Oh boy. All right, so you want to go to here. Okay, let's hit enter twice. And now what you're going to type is a new word, okay? Hold shift and press three to get a... What do you what do you modern people call hashtags? Okay, and now type region. Region. Yeah, at the mm. end. Yeah, you you do you, you, ah, nothing. Don't worry about it. Now hit space and let's call this one. Give it a name. Let's call this one start. What's a hashtag region? You'll see. Start. No 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 no. It's not a function. Oh. Relax. Start. Just like this. And here at the end, make another hashtag. And type end region, all lowercase. Wait. Shift three. Three. It shows the. I know. I know. It's a British keyboard. Okay. End region. No. All lowercase. And don't hit tab for this one. Yeah. Just type it. End region. End region. region. Why? You'll see. Because now it it indents it correctly, whereas if you hit tab, it stays all the way at the back. I don't know why, but now it allows us to minimize all of the start stuff like this. Nice. Okay, so now we're gonna do this for the setups too. So here, put another pound sign. Can't we copy? No, oh, but that's an S symbol. Okay, like this. Region, space. Region. And call this one setup. Setup. Yeah. So the stuff that will be inside setup is gonna be this. Okay. So another pound region. Uh, end region. My bad. End region. And, and, oh, and if, and we jump. Yes, okay, save. save. All right, so then we've got update. That's on its own, basically. Then we've got start turn, get debug die value. Okay, this is debug, so we're going to actually move that further down. So here there's quite a lot of... Uh, of mess. Yeah. Of functions that are all happening or methods that are all happening during update and gameplay in general so these definitely belong to update so cut these two and let's put them here and control mo save okay now evaluate landing tile change turn get tile okay so change turn and start turn should go together i think these are all events that happen in game. So I think, yeah, we could call them that way. So, uh, cut this, put it here, control MO. Yeah. Okay. Now another event that happens is overtake. So let's do that one too. Cut and paste it here. Yeah. Control MO. Save. Okay, so let's create a new region here. Let's call this one update. So hashtag shift three. Okay, hashtag. And now region. Ow. Okay, region. Space. Space. And call this one update. Uh huh. And why do we need no semicolon? I'm not sure, to be honest. That's how you write it. Oh, now, hashtag it's again. Incompetent. What? <laughs> it's incompetent. What do you mean? Because usually we put semicolons and everything. Yeah, but I don't think you know what incompetent means. Hit end region now. And. 
inconsistent is maybe what he meant. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't match the rest. Yeah. Yeah. That's inconsistent. Right. Incompetent is somebody who doesn't know what he's doing. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So hashtag again. Okay. Region. Space events. Okay, now Oops, sorry. Events L. Okay, now close the 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 region. So hashtag and region. Mm-hmm. And na, 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 if I can find the end and region. Okay, save. Semi. No oh, wait, save. no semi. Save. All right, so that's Please. done too. Now, let's see. Uh, these are queries, and these this is just a reset. These are like minor things. What's update race position? Uh, that's it. Calculating things. Um, hmm. Maybe we could put these two together as calculations. Yeah, maybe. I I think we should put all of these things as calculation the evaluation of the lending tile though i do think it should go probably inside events yeah let's do it here so cut this cut it paste it control mo hey that's a very big function it's a big one save okay so reset scores update score text this one we're gonna go in score update race positions should go with these calculations. So yeah, put another hashtag here. Ooh, okay. Da, 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 da. Hashtag. You said calculations. So region. Uh, region. Oh, I think no spaces. Yeah. Region. Calculations with a capital C. Cal. Q. L. A. All right, and inside here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut these, paste them here, and Control M O real quick. Cut this. Why does it open now? Paste it here. I'm not sure. Control M O again. Whoa! Hey. You broke everything. I uh, did. I closed the class. Yeah. Okay. And region. Wait a second. Oh yeah. What about these? Uh, end region directive expected. Go on end region there. And region. Save. Now these guys. So these are just for score. So we're going to simply say score. So region score. Scar. Yeah, and close the region here. We end region, not region. End region. All right. Now cut these two. Paste them. Uh, yeah, control them all. And now for the last one, I don't know that it deserves a region, I'm not sure. But basically, this is our debug area. So we're just going to put a comment here debug. Save. Okay, so we've cleaned up the code a little bit. Now we can like minimize stuff, but every time we hit a control MO, it expands again. So I, I have a conflicting relationship with regions. I don't like them very much mm. um, because they are not visually that helpful, at least not for me. And whenever I collapse everything, they make everything visible again. And that's really annoying to me at least. Mm. So, um, right. Uh, so events and setup. So in setup, we need to set up our deck, right? So let's begin with that. Go void setup deck. Void. Okay. So void. This is it. 
I thought we were making a function when we wrote the first region. Set the deck. Open, okay, close round. It. Open, close, and open, enter, enter, close. Okay, save. Now, save. for now, we're going to need to go and create a few variables. So, uh, for our variables, let's go further down because this is a completely different category. And let's start uh, with various transforms. So, go with private transform. Deck. Dunk. De deck. Uh, you need a deck anchor. Anchor. Like this? Mm hmm. Semicolon. So let's go and take a look. Our board, cards, deck, spawn point. That's the anchor for all the cards. Okay. Then there's the landing point, and then there's the inventory point. These all are anchors. So we're gonna create the, this is the deck anchor, then landing anchor and inventory anchor. So copy these, paste, again. Now replace this with landing. Sorry. Land. Okay. And then the next one with inventory. In there, yeah. follow the rule, Dolly. Inventory, I guess. <laughs> You're missing oh, so like oh. observatory. Yes, observatory. Yes, lavatory. Yeah, you know, Brits do it like that. I don't know. Okay, so uh, deck, landing, inventory. These are good. Now, what else do we need? Um, we are gonna need the game object for the card. So you want a serialized field, private okay. game object. Serialized field. Oh yeah, I forgot the square bracket. Now serialized field. Private game object. Game. Go object. down one and. Game ah! Broke everything. <laughs> game object. Game. Project. And call this one. Yeah, well, you're gonna have to give it a name. Yeah. Um, you can call it a card template. So this will instantiate. This is what we will instantiate. Yeah. We usually we call our instantiated things. Semicolon. Okay. Now um, we need to create a script called card for our cards. So let's go to script. Another script. Whoop de doo. Well, let's see if we get an icon. <laughs> Call it card. Okay, card. All right. So we got card script. Now we're gonna go back here. It's gonna complain. We're gonna reload the solution. And now you can create a private list. Okay. Private list of what? Cards. Card, just card. Yep. And call it list underscore. Hey, we forgot to open card though. Huh? We forgot to open it. It's fine, it doesn't matter. We'll open it later. So you call this one um, list, list underscore. underscore cards. List. Ah, uh, wait a second. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. We are, we are going to need the list of cards, but it's going to be inventory cards so yeah call it list inventory cards we'll need this later but we will need it inventory cards semicolon and we actually don't really need a list so yeah change this to an array and remove the word list and just inventory cards okay save so we've got this now what we're gonna need is we are definitely gonna need the list so private 
list of int. Okay. Nice. We're just gonna need card IDs. Ah, uh, wait a moment. Should we? Yeah, wait a moment. No, I think we should make the enum first. So let's go ahead and create public enum. And card type. Open squiggly and turn to close it. Okay, so we begin with swap equals zero. Swap is zero semicolon enter. No, comma. Oh, wait, comma. Whoops, not semicolon. All right, so let's invent force. a few more cards. Let's design them. Swap. So swap. No, wait, we already did swap. Mm -hmm. Swap is one. Uh, Zero, you mean? Well, sure, it's one card. That's what I meant. Oh. Um, what else could we do? We need to do things that are interesting, but not too complicated. Because so swap, what it's going to entail is you click on an opponent. And, and you then, swap with him. Yeah, and you swap positions, right? Uh, say steal. Let, yeah, let's do a few steals. So call one steal. Steal what? It first write steal. Steal. Yeah, and then underscore. And go one thousand. Comma. Enter. Steal card. <laughs> <laughs> that should be fun. Steal underscore card. We should make some bad ones too. Yeah. Yeah. Right. One thing at a time. Comma. Okay. Okay. So we got two two possible steals, which I think are cool. Mm. Mm hmm. Now let's see. What else could we do? Uh, 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 skip next turn. So skip turn, we, we will then... This is no. a bad one. No, not necessarily. Uh, so skip turn will be uh, basically make the next guy skip a turn. Oh, the next guy, not you. Yeah, or make someone skip a turn. So It might be you, that means. Skip. Turn. Turn. Comma. Okay, now you want a bad one? Yeah. Target me. What does that mean? It forces other people to target you. How? Uh, so, say for example, somebody else has steal one thousand, right? So this they must gets target from you. you. Yeah. And it doesn't matter for them. It's just a person for them. <laughs> Someone else, right? Okay, comma. Uh, okay, so some of these may be too hard, right? Right now, dear audience, we may be being too ambitious. It's fine. We're just gonna create a few. Okay. Um, right, comma, I mean enter. So we got target me. Um, mm -mm. Um, uh, let's do push forward one. Okay. Push. Forward. 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 Underscore one. Copy, comma, copy this one. Push forward one. Yeah. So push forward like one space. Mm -hmm. That, which means this one might be dangerous if you're on an oil slick. Mm -hmm. no, if you're right before an oil slick, then after there's a mine, then bomb. Yeah. You're dead. Two. Paste it again. Let's do three. Paste it again and change this to Backward. back with a capital B. <laughs> this is a bad one. Back. All of these can be used strategically, right? Now copy this, paste, paste. Okay, save. These ones should all be easy. Uh, Lose, lose what? underscore 500. 
<laughs> you're losing all your points that way. Yeah, with that. I'm not sure what it's in the 10, world you're doing. and that is a percentage symbol, which is a modular division symbol, I think. 100, and then you lose 1,000. Yeah, comma. Now, since we've done this, let's also go to our steel and do steel 500. <laughs> and score 500. Poor guy. That will surely make the guy go, ah! Seriously? Okay, and uh, so let's see, we have a few, so all of the push are, are neutrals, they can use posit can be used positively or negatively, you could push your own self if mm. you wanted to. So skip a turn is clearly for a positive because it's negative for someone else. Uh, steel card is positive, steel is positive, steel is positive, swap is positive. Uh, Skip turn is positive. Target me is negative. Lose 500 is negative. Lose 1000 is negative. Uh, um, push, we don't know. Because we don't know what's in front of us. So it could be negative or non negative. Oh, how about this one? Restart lap. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Go. Put it there. So we'll teleport you back to the start. Yeah. Yeah. And let's do another one. Closest breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> so it tells part you to the closest breakdown? Yeah, yeah. Closest background. Back breakdown. Deploy mine. Oh, that Good would one. be interesting. But we need to change the... A lot of things. In the game. No, just the tile. I mean, it's not a huge deal. We can do that. We can do that. So, yeah. Deploy mine. Deploy. Moin. 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 <laughs> okay. A comma. And uh, closest. Uh, uh, closest. Uh, what? What's the one when you go f when you do another turn? Re refuel. Closest refuel. Okay. Plus, we it's got it right here. So refuel. Yeah. Okay. That's a good one. Yeah. And uh, uh, um, well, let's stop here for now. We could make even more later, right? There's okay. already quite a few. There's it's, it's a pretty ambitious situation here, mm -hmm. right? So let's see how many we've got. We've got 17. Wow, all right. So we are going to have to distribute these cards, and in my opinion, they need to have a valence meaning some of them are more rare and some of them are less rare. Mm -hmm. So in order to do that, we need to like write them down or something. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe some of them could give you score. Yeah, of course. That's also something we're going to have to worry about. Uh, okay, so private list int. And here you're going to write uh, deck cards. So okay. write that. D -d -d deck cards. Now, yeah, copy this entire list, paste it here, and just put a word temp in front of it. T E M P and change the D to a capital. Da -da. Delete. Mm. D, -d, 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 D. Save. Okay. Oh, I press Control D, Control S. Okay, now serialize field again. Close the square bracket. Now this is going to be a private uh, int and uh, array int array, and you want to say max card type amount. Type. Sorry. I'm taking forever. Amounts. Yeah. Am amounts. Amounts. <laughs> Semicolon. Save. Okay, so now we need to go and fill that in. So remember how we did that? We're gonna go like this. And oh, then yeah. We're gonna okay. go like this. Alright. Uh, and we're gonna go to the game manager. All the way down. 
and we're gonna wait for it to wake up assuming it does i hope it does the dropbox is paused so close steam here what about slack okay it's woken up now for whatever reason so we said we have 18 if i remember correctly different mm -hmm. cards 18 we're counting zero so. yeah okay so let's begin with closest refuel and closest breakdown i think those should be fairly common let's say five in the deck for each of them mm -hmm. deploy mine that one could be quite common let's go with four I'll, how wait. about five is the highest amount let's try with these yeah five is the highest amount that sounds good so let's say steel 500 should be common swap should be rare it's very very big like you know you uh, could swap like with somebody that's super close to the start and totally steal their turn that's right five uh steal 1000 we're gonna make three or something uh steal a card we're gonna make F super rare this one okay two how about that wait wait this can't be very rare because what if the card's bad that's right but okay. then again steal a card you would want to pick somebody who's somebody's card who's who has somebody who has a good card right yeah anyway so, so we can keep it too yeah so steal put it at two it's fine skip turn that will be for you uh let's put this one as, as <laughs> it happens often <laughs> target me happens often <laughs> no actually we're torturing no. the poor people no let's do target me to three or something and skip turn three as well and then there is a uh, push forward there this one should be common and also push backward one should be common by two should be less common and by three it should be even less common okay now 12 uh let's lose 500 this one should be very Which common I kept for 5, three. restart lab should be super rare let's one see. one and deploy mine i think should be four okay so now we have a certain total um now all of these need to have a string as well so we're going to go here and make another serialized field close it go private string private string area yeah, and go uh card types names card type names semicolon okay so now this guy hopefully will wake up soon yes it did okay so for this one we need another 18 let's close the type amount no no sure i mean it doesn't hurt for it to be there okay so type swap okay this one type steel space 500 actually let's not do space we should, hmm, I wonder if the escape characters are going to work here. Huh. We can try N, lowercase n, uh, 500. Oh, uh, my bad. 500. Okay. Copy this. Paste it. 1000. Paste it again. Card. Okay, then next one is skip. Uh, next one is uh, pariah. What does that mean? Uh, H. This? You need oh. an H at the end. Pariah means uh, somebody who is Pummeling? very miserable. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, so you're very miserable, miserable. Sort you're of, it's targeted. a bit more complicated. So, okay, now push plus one. So we're gonna do push and then slash n, push, capital H, come on. Okay, done, slash n, and now plus one. Copy this, paste it, paste it, paste it, paste it, paste it. Okay, so plus two, plus, plus Three. three minus one minus, minus two, two and minus, minus three. three and then uh you want uh copy this paste it 
and type lose. Copy this, paste, and this one is 1000. Uh, back to, uh, no, just restart, capital R, restart. Start, okay. And then uh, break, uh, two breakdown. Two. Breakdown, no, 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 oh. one, one, <laughs> two, breakdown. Two, break. Again, I think we probably need a line break. Copy this. Paste it. Uh, copy this. Paste it. Refuel. Yeah, and this one needs to be mine. Okay, Hi. save. Okay. Th so. Is the restart bad? Does it make you restart? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was MDS. It's a really, it really bad one. Yeah, it's <laughs> the worst one. Uh, um, depends, right? If you get it early, not really. Not really, you're right. But if you're like super close to the start, but it skips you right back, then you're like, <gasps> Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and I managed to not smack the microphone. Phew. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Okay, so we've got the card names are all down and we got the card quantities now those are important because now when we're going to set up the deck we need to account for these uh and uh, mm, i wonder how we're gonna do this we should probably have a list for how many we've got uh but wait a second that can't be a list that it needs to be well it can be a list yeah it can be a list of and then we, we do count. Yeah, that makes sense. So here, go private list uh, int. You have a list of ints. Uh, I forgot all of the lists. We should call them list underscore. And then deck because you like the capital letter right after. So copy this, paste it here. Ah, I missed it. You do it. Shift Shift T. T, I think I hit the okay. microphone very gently. Okay, list underscore. I think it is copied. Yes. And uh, so it's going to be type card type counts. Whoa, I'm still doing capitals. Type counts. Uh, semicolon. Save. And. Uh, Other? Another? No, um, wait, I'm just thinking. So, because the list temp cards is going to have to be populated by the list card type counts. No, but no, we're not going to need this. I think your daddy is a bit silly. Oh. Yes, I don't think we need this. We don't need this at all, this last one. Okay, ah. so let's start writing some code here before I start going mental. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here, um, uh, in setup deck, we want to initialize these two lists. So copy this, paste it here, new list, equals new list, list of int. A, oh. Of type, int, close, open round, close round. Okay. Copy all of this, paste it right here, copy this, paste it here, save. Okay, now we need a couple of nested loops. So this one may look a little bit complicated to you, all right? Okay. So you wanna do this, you wanna do a four. four. Open round, int, instead of I, put, uh, put, uh, yeah, I'm thinking. So we need to go through all of the various type amounts and okay. then each of them. So we're gonna say for each, uh, for int uh, TA, call it, type amount equals zero. Zero. Is it? Semicolon TA lower than max card type amounts dot length. 
length, semicolon again, TA++. Close the round, open it squiggly, enter, enter, close the squiggly. Okay, so now look at this. We're looping through this list like this. Mm -hmm. Now you see, you see each each of these elements of the array has a number. Mm -hmm. So we're going to create another loop that goes from the start to this number. Okay, so you go for, open around, int, and this one is going to be t for type, equals zero. Equals nine. nine. That's zero. T lower than max card type amount. Open a square bracket. T A. Close it. Semicolon. T plus plus. Close round. Open squiggly. Enter enter close squiggly. Okay. So I didn't do enter. That's fine. Save. <clears throat> All right. So let's see if you, my daughter, understand this. So. It's a loop that starts at zero and goes through mm -hmm. all of the type amounts, right? Mm -hmm. So it get let's start here at element zero. So we got a two, okay? Then here it says for int, and this is another and different iterator, okay? Mm -hmm. That says go through the max card type amounts of TA, which is zero. Max card type amounts TA is two. So this is going to be a loop that goes between zero and two. Mm -hmm. But on the next turn, it's going to go between zero and Five. Zero and five. Do you understand? And zero and three. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add those types of cards. Okay? And instead of these being ints, we're going to change our mind now. And we're going to copy card type. Copy this. And we're going to say, paste it here. And here. And here. And here. All right. Save. Right. So now we're going to begin populating the list temp deck cards. Why this one? Because this one will be in perfect order. And then we're going to shuffle this one to get this one. Okay. So copy this, paste it, dot add, open round. And here you need to tell it what you want. So you are going to want a certain card type. Now, wait a moment. You know, wait a second. In order for us to get that card type, we are going to have to cast it as a card type because we but this is a list of ints. Yeah. So open around. Wait, is it, wait, what's the list of ints? Max, max card type amounts has an int inside it. Okay. And we are going through a bunch of ints. Oh, and it's an area of ints. So you want to open around bracket. Okay. Paste card type again. Okay. Close. Oh, no, that's wrong. Okay, oh. start, start typing card type. There it is. Yeah. Close the round bracket, and now you need to feed it uh, TA. Close the round bracket, semicolon, say. So it will send it TA of type card type, I mean, rather cast as a card type. Now TA starts at zero. What's card type zero? It's swap, okay? So how okay. many times will it do this? Between zero and two, so zero twice. And two, twice. That means we're gonna get two cards that are of card type swap. Then we're gonna get five cards that are of card type steel five hundred. Then mm -hmm. we're gonna get three cards, etc. But as you can see, they're all gonna be in perfect straight order. Now mm -hmm. that wouldn't make for a very interesting deck, would it? Yeah. But we at least have them all listed and stored. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now what we can do is it's we can do a while loop. Open round and say, copy list stamp cards, paste it here, go dot count, higher than zero. What does this mean? So as long as this list has at least one element in it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Close, open squiggly, enter, enter, close it. Save. What we're going to do now is we're going to say... And it needs to be a positive, right? Because it's higher than zero. Well, of course, you can't have less than zero in a list in is a count of a list. So okay. create an int on the fly here. Call it int rand. Here we go. here comes rand again. Rand semicolon. Ein rand. <laughs> Ein rand comes? I don't think she's dead. It's been a while. Maybe she is. No, she definitely is. Oh then she is. Yeah. Well her Kay. variable comes back. <laughs> Apparently yeah. <laughs> copy copy her name. Paste it here, 
and here you go equals random dot range open around zero comma and copy this paste it here close it semicolon save okay so why do we need this so we store a certain value mm -hmm. okay now that we store this value we can go and tell copy deck cards this is our actual deck paste it dot add oh dear oh dear add, dot add. open round copy this paste it here square bracket rand close it close round wait cuz it goes round semicolon save save and now what we need to do now that we have added that particularly randomly selected card mm -hmm. we need to remove that randomly selected card from this list so that the list can get smaller and smaller over time so now okay. copy this paste it here dot remove at open round copy rand paste it here close semicolon done and now we are going to get our list of deck cards ready and waiting for us okay so just to take a look at what we're gonna get is go uh hmm, wait no undo undo let's do it right here go debug dot log and copy this paste it here close it semicolon save okay so now that we've done all of this we're just simply going to quickly test that this is working fine test play oh that's silly we have that's never and yeah, don't press space for now we Sorry. don't need it so we need to call setup desk and that's called in start so right here setup desk okay. desk deck what am i saying Set setup deck. deck open close round same save all right and now we should get a very very long sequence of there so the first card at the bottom of the list is steel 50 or at the top it depends on what perspective we take but as you can see they are Random. actually randomized right doesn't mean that some of them won't be attached or very close or whatever it can happen right mm -hmm. they're randomized for example we got push forward push forward push backward push backward right and these two are exactly identical in a sequence mm -hmm. okay but there are all of our cards and they are all randomized that's lovely okay can you stop like leaning right i can't see the screen sorry thanks <clears throat> keeping children disciplined on a chair sorry all right so we can now remove this debug log save right now the deck is ready so now let's begin working on our uh our card mm -hmm. because with each element of the deck we are going to well we're gonna have to always set up a card as soon as we instantiate it mm -hmm. okay so uh let's go to unity and double click card open it for the first time oh, oh sorry hello so what do we need none of that goodbye okay so let's begin by receiving information so um actually how much information do we need because we need to know the card type and that's fine so that the card can be activated that function should be on the card i think so um yes um let's go ahead and type um i was thinking wait a second so if cards get activated immediately and you cannot avoid activating them then the whole inventory concept is stupid but yeah because i'm afraid of making it too complicated with the idea of the inventory you know <laughs> should we simply activate cards right away yeah so you pick them and they happen okay so let's do that sounds good goodbye inventory point see ya <laughs> we don't need you anymore we lost it uh and what we're gonna do now is just gonna move the landing point just a little bit further to the right 
uh, actually undo for me, please. Yeah, let's move the entire deck a bit. Okay, so this looks like 3.2 or something. And now we can move the landing point a little bit, say here. Okay, 2.5. Right, so they are nice and far. And now let's move the deck again, because I'm not happy with its position again. <laughs> Three, okay, save. Save. So we have a few inventory variables that we need to get rid of. Uh, let's see. Like da, private da, 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 da. inventory anchor. cards. Inventory anchor. Inventory anchor. And these should be the only two. Save. Which reminds me, we need to set these up. So we're going to set them up in setup deck. Um, so right here, let's do that before we do anything else. So we're going to... Uh, take example from these tiles. Remember, that's how we found everything. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Start tiles. New to board. Board dot. Okay. Apparently, board is a variable that we already have. So <clears throat> copy deck anchor. Okay. Um. Paste it here. Scroll up. Copy landing anchor. Paste it here. Okay. Now. Copy this. D -d 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 -d. Equals. Paste it. All right. Now I don't remember the path, so we're gonna have to find it. So it's some board cards deck spawn board, point. Cards deck spawn point. Yeah. So you go board. We're already there. So no, you're already there. So cards slash this deck. Slash? Flash spawn point. Okay, semicolon here. Copy all of this, paste it here. Okay, now this one isn't spawn point, this one's called landing point. So landing right here. can't type today. Semicolon. Save. <laughs> Semicolon. Semicolon. That is crazy. All right. <clears throat> Save. So we're going to need a public void setup. Public void setup. Yeah. Open round, close round. Huh? So we are actually going to need a card type here. So go card type CT. Save. <clears throat> All right. Now, um, what we are going to have to do is have a core routine to move. So let's make an I enumerator here. Two down. Yeah. And call this one uh, uncover or something. Will we need lists in this function? Wait, I mean, script. I don't know why. Why are you asking? Because I'm asking about these. I uh, will see. We can kill one of them. Okay, so uh, let's figure this out. So we have a starting point, an ending point. The ending point is the landing point. This means we need to get that landing point. So keeping it private makes no sense. We need it to be public. Mm. So we need that landing point to be public. Uh, so go hide in inspector wait, wait. and call it public. Save. Okay, so we, we can reach it. Uh, when we instantiate it, I suppose we will put it straight in the position where it needs to be first, and then we will flip it. Mm. Um, we'll see. I'm wondering whether the setup function should do that or whether the instantiation should do that. And I'm thinking about the setup one. Yes, let's do that. So copy all of this, paste it here. So even the deck anchor will be, uh, will be, uh, will be. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. You got Save. stuck like an old man. I get stuck like an old man all the time. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a float passing time equals zero. Passing time Your again. favorite. Foot passing time is zero. Oops, that's for the if. It's, everything is wrong here. Yes. Equals zero F banana. 
Only two things, but save. Hey. Well, two things out of basically two. Okay, so while passing time is lower than lower or equals to one, I guess. Passing time lower or equals to one. Yeah, what's the difference? I don't know. One float. Ah. It's a float. <laughs> Okay, passing time plus equals times dot delta time, time dot delta time. We may need a speed, most likely we will. Passing time plus, plus equals, equals time dot delta time. Semicolon. And here we're gonna say uh, yield return, new, wait for seconds, time dot delta time. Hey, you spelled yield correctly. <laughs> I think it's. Woo! It's going to it's going to be Christmas tomorrow. <laughs> Wait for seconds. Time to delta time. Okay. Close it. Semicolon. Save. Okay. So you see, it's not complaining now because we are giving us giving a yield return for this coroutine, so it's happy. Uh, all right. Now here we're going to have to do that lerp, and we're going to have to do a lerp for rotation and a lerp for. Um, and a lerp for, um, I'm stuck again, and a lerp <laughs> for position. And we're also going to add some kind of bounce on the y axis. So it's quite a lot of th stuff that we need to do. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and create a couple of rules in the game manager. So we are going okay. to need a couple of public things. We're going to need a public speed. We're going to need two public curves. Okay, are you sure you want to put it uh, here? No. Okay, so public. Public. Float card speed. F float. Card, card speed. speed. Okay. And then we're going to have to make the card slide under the deck. That's also going to be interesting. We'll see how we'll do that. So card but speed, wait, give it a default. It's late, so we're in a hurry. I know. Yeah. Let's do 3F as a default. Now, public animation curve. Public animation. Where is it? Where is it? There, curve. Yeah. And call this one curve underscore. Curve underscore. Card speed. Card speed. Are we inconsistent or what? I'm inconsistent today. Not only the. <laughs> Not only the Semicolon. the those are inconsistent, but I am as well. No, they're busy, busy. <laughs> okay, copy all of this, <laughs> paste it here, and card bounce. Okay. Bounce. Yeah, and public float. Card bounce height. <laughs> card bounce height. No, no, categorically no. <laughs> okay, and equals, let's give it a value of five. It may be too much, we'll find out. Um, Down. Now we're going to need a public vector three. Yeah, card start rotation. I got stuck like an old man on the keyboard. Semicolon, copy all of this, paste, end rotation. Save. Okay, so. What about the position? No, the positions, we already have the anchors, so oh, those will yeah. serve as our positions. Um, right. And one thing that we want to do is go back to our card here and we're going to need all of that information. So in the setup here, we're going to have to make decisions. Um, here, create a card type variable. No, you need a private card type. Card type. Actually, you don't need that, but I like it explicit. <laughs> Yeah, card type and call this one card type. Semicolon. Oops, I don't think there was a semicolon. Save. Now you're gonna need a uh, yeah private 
What do you say? Yeah. Just trust me. Private. Okay, private. TM Pro. TM dot. Pro. Text Mesh Pro. Night. I don't understand what's happening. Text, text Mesh Pro. Mesh. Yeah. Pro. And call this one TM. TM. Yeah, you need a space. So what what did I do here? I went to this library only once. Instead of using it, I just went to it one time. That's it. Uh, okay, so we got the TM Pro. Uh, is there anything else we need? Not for now. So uh, copy TM, paste it, equals, transform dot find, open round text, I think. We need a quote first. Quote here, quote here, close it. Dot get component open of type. Wait, copy all of this, paste it here, close it, open close round, semicolon. Okay, so we've got the TM so we can actually update it correctly based on the card type. Uh, here you want to say card type card type equals ct semicolon okay so we got that now we'll be able to assign the text so go tm dot set text yeah open round game manager dot script dot Names, I think you called it. I don't remember what, so just type name there. R nah, all wrong. Pfft. Let's try with card. Cars? Yeah, of course. Ah, your dad is slow. <laughs> card. Uh, are they private? Oh, yes. Silly oh, dad. yes. Public. Public. Save. Save. Copy. Copy. Paste. Paste. Open square. Open square. Cast as int. Cast as int. Close. Card type. Card type. The bottom one. Close square box. Square bracket. Close round bracket. Semicolon. Okay, so this will assign the correct text. <laughs> All right, so we got the correct text. And what we need to do now is we need to place the card where it belongs. So we'll begin with the transform dot position. So you're gonna say transform dot position, transform dot position equals game manager dot script dot uh, what did we call it? Anchor something. Dot type anchor deck anchor. That's the one. Semicolon. Uh, dot position. Sorry. My bad. Okay. Now transform dot rotation equals game manager dot script dot rotation card start rotation. Okay, no, it's not gonna like this because you need to say quaternion. dot Euler open close semicolon save what does Euler do it com it, it is capable of accepting a vector 3 as information for the quaternion it converts <laughs> the vector 3 to a quaternion oh uh, blah, blah, blah. all right so we've got all of this done we are at the starting point we are at the starting rotation now we can go the other way now this one needs to be multiplied by the speed you remember that speed so you go to game yes. manager dot script just type speed script dot type type speed we'll, we'll find it. there it is car move card speed that's the one okay save Okay, now we're almost there. Now you say transform dot position equals your favorite vector three dot lerp. Hooray! Vector three dot lerp. Dot break. <laughs> Did I write break? No. 
kind of wish you did. It would be less catastrophic than this. Uh, Open around. Whoa, what in the me? world? Can you stop pressing control instead of shift? <laughs> All right. Or vice versa. Can you stop? Yeah, no, that was correct. It, ignore me. Okay, so <laughs> lerp. Now we go from the start position, which is our current position, which is this thing. Copy this. Paste it. Comma. Paste. And instead of deck anchor, you need to type anchor again. Anchor. anchor. Landing anchor. Okay, comma. comma. And here we're going to say uh, game manager dot script dot. Yeah. Game manager dot script dot curve. All right, we have curve card speed dot evaluate. Uh, open round the passing time. Nice. Close. Yeah. Close again. Okay. Now we're not done. Oh. <laughs> this sounds crazy, but we need a plus. And here you're going to say. Uh, yeah, the game manager does script. No, wait a moment. I'm I'm thinking. Uh, vector new vector three go type it type it type it type it type it type it, type it quick <laughs> new vector three open round zero f comma math f dot lerp another lerp yeah and this is going to become chaotic so we're going to put it on the next line math f dot lerp uh and now you want to go between zero f zero f comma and this one wants to be game manager dot script dot bounce height. This would have totally gone out of it, right? Dot bounce height. That's the one. Card bounce height. Oh, this one. That one, yeah. Comma. Curve. Uh, game manager dot script. <laughs> dot curve. Wait, comma curve. Card bounce. Dot evaluate. This Pass. is long. Told you. Evaluate. Passing time. Open round passing time. Round passing time. Close round. Close round again. Comma. Zero foot. I may have gotten the accent on, doesn't matter. Semicolon. Save. Okay, so this is the movement done. Now we need the rotation. And it's gonna be transform dot rotation. Is this one gonna be simpler? Yes. equals uh so here's what we need to do quaternion dot lerp open round and you're gonna feed it i didn't know so you can essentially Actually, go to vector threes math methods uh, and quaternions no we're gonna do it differently copy this paste here here type Actually, don't type anything. Copy this. Paste it here. Comma. And copy this. Paste it here. And copy this. Paste it here. Save. Okay, and this, replace this with end. Save. Okay, so this is the card doing its flip. Now here in setup, we need to actually start this coroutine. So go ahead and go start coroutine, uncover. Open round, uncover. No. You said it, everything wrong, everything wrong, everything wrong. I can't see, I forgot to open one. You can't see, I'll let you Okay, know. done. Save. All right, so now we're calling uncover here and then uncover will do its business. That's just fine. Everything should be okay here. So we're now able to instantiate the card and we're gonna make it as a debug, okay? So right here at the bottom where we have our debug stuff, okay, we are gonna create another void. Debug get next card. Get next card. Duh. Open close round, open and turn to close. And here you go. Instantiate 
open round card template comma vector three dot zero Yeah, zero comma quaternion dot identity. No rotation. Why did they do the, the oh yeah, I already asked that question. Comma. Uh my bad. Close round dot get component. Open of type a uh, card. Wait, car card. Yeah. Dot no. Ah, dot. Wait. Dot. Set up. Set up. Open round. round. Okay, wait. Now we need to think this through. Open another round. Card type. We need SNS to cast it as a card type. type. Yeah. Close the round. And random dot range. She got a function. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm. No, that's that's completely silly. Uh, what we want is, so this is not going to be perfect for now, but that's fine. We just want to see how the card bounces. So we're going to take list deck cards, copy this, paste it here, zero, close it, no, close that's it, same color. Don't we need to like press a button, input? Yeah, we're going to do that in update and we're just literally going to set up a random button for that. Uh, How about enter? Enter. I was this enter is already used. I was going to say exactly that. Okay. And well, it's not here, there. say at any point, it doesn't matter. So if. No, just wait, wait, wait. Undo. Copy this. Paste. I copied a little bit too much. Okay. Hit tab here. Save. Okay. If we get down, return. And. Copy this, paste it here, save. Okay, so whenever we press return, a card should appear and it should do things. But before oh, we can do that, card. we uh, we need to set up the card. It's still not correct. So here's the card, right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't have the card component. So type card, card. Yeah, there it is. There's the card component. Drag it up, continue, apply. So now the card is saved. We can delete it buy card All right so the card is there and it's ready i don't think that the card itself needs anything let's take a quick look no the card script is empty um, looks empty to us now the game manager needs a bunch of stuff here so curve for the card speed we are going to uh just do an ease at the start no ease at the end makes no sense we cannot ease at the end so we're going to ease at the start and then slam at the end that's what cards do. Now, curve card bounce. Now, the bounce needs to be some kind of uh, parabola like this. Needs to go up and then down, right? The bounce needs to go up and then down. Okay. Start rotation. I don't know, uh, but we need to experiment. So let's grab our card, drag it in the spawn point. So you see, you see, it's like this. That's mm -hmm. the wrong rotation. It needs to be rotated the other way. And it needs to be rotated the other way on the Z axis. No, undo. On the Y axis. Yes. It needs to be rotated by 180 degrees on the Y axis. Okay. So we're going to say that the start rotation. That the start rotation is 180 on the Y axis. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now this may work. Let's test it. Unassigned a. reference exception. The variable card template. Oof. I didn't Wait. assign the most obvious one. Yeah. Where is it? Ah, oh, it's further up. There, right here. Card. We made that earlier, so. Thank you, sir. Okay, so let's maximize and play. Let's see how this looks like. Boink. Uh, again. Null reference. TM trans. You cannot find the TM. Okay. Which means you must have spelled something wrong? Probably. So card, it has title, not text. <laughs> so type title here with a capital T. Save. Okay, that's how it works now. <laughs> a few bugs, you know, they happen. 
<laughs> Dying. No, it, it, it worked. What a shame. They rotated totally bonkers. Uh, yeah. So the rotation... Okay, so clearly 180 was wrong. And I think we need a 90 degree rotation over here. 90 degree rotation over here. And... Uh, hmm. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to hit play. I know why this is happening. Hit enter for me. Okay, the, the, the starting rotation was exactly correct. So starting rotation is good. Now rotating 180 degrees makes no sense because uh, it's also too big. Interesting. I'm not too fast, I suppose. But yeah, we, we should do something with the scale. But we'll simply... I'll know it's also flipped. Just don't worry about it. So here's what we'll do. We'll drag this into the landing point and then see the size. Okay, so now we're going to type 1, 1, 1. So it's the correct size, okay. And now we're gonna drag it out again. And now it's gonna tell us 0 0.75, all right? So in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the card here and change this to 0 0.75. Copy it for me, please. Paste it, paste it. So when it spawns, it's gonna spawn on that size. So it's already correct. Now, um, it's rotated, but on the Y axis, that's wrong. Uh, let's go back to our card and rotate it wait a moment so on the game manager, the game manager. Rota uh, rotation zero so 180 was correct zero is wrong uh, so let's put it at 180 on the y now it's rotated like that now we need to flip it on the z no on the x no oh boy okay let's try zero zero and zero that won't work hey, by the way did you see the text on the back it worked wait just a second 270 okay lose oh that's yeah. fine we'll worry about that later so 270 zero, zero. okay so now in the game manager here we can do 270 zero, zero. okay let's see how this will go because quaternions they don't like us <laughs> it, it it sort of works but it flips it real weird <laughs> Boing. Yeah, Boing. Because, of, because of the quaternions um quaternions. i wonder if there's an other way wait a moment maybe this guy will actually already illuminate our path so card oh wait yeah so it says minus 90 here i think it put turn it on again please what look to refuel yeah the, the end is the line break that isn't being recognized because of escape characters i'm not surprised mm. uh we're just gonna have to figure out a way to to fit it in uh, most likely the reason why that is is because yeah so it's easy at this as opposed to this, right? So um, wait a moment though, I'm, I'm still pondering here. So 270, that is correct. Is there some other rotation that we can get there at? If I put 180 here, if I put 180 here, there, no, that could be possibly better. So if we have 270, 180, 180, we may get a better rotation. Because quaternions have a mind of their own, <laughs> okay? So you need to like fight with them to get them to rotate the way you want to. Nope. And they're all the same I mean, too. I quite like it though. They're all steel. I know, I know, because we're always spawning the first one. But I quite like it. It's not, it's not terrible. I think this rotation is pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. It's as if you picked it up and flipped it with your hand. It's not bad. We can probably live with this. I mean... Uh, there may be a better way of doing it by changing the original initial rotation. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I don't know. All right, wait a second. Let's try. Okay. So the card was at what position? I don't remember. But we can put it at the spawn point and completely reset it. Now we can put it out. Now the original rotation at which we put it was 90. Okay. And then we said 180. That's the one we gave it. Right. So let's try and mess about with these numbers. Uh, yeah, well, that won't work for sure. Okay. Let's get in somewhere. Yeah, we're back at the start. So. 90, 180. Okay, see, I can do 180 either on the Y or on the Z. 
So let's try 180. Let's try 180 <laughs> on the Z. Okay. One. So 90, Whoa. 270, and this one needs to be zero. zero, 180, 180, 180. That looks more elegant. More elegant? You like this better? It looks like somebody's taking it and flipping it around. Yeah, I don't mind it. Okay, we're going to stick with this. We're going to go with this. There are better ways of doing this, okay? But <laughs> okay. They're probably also more complicated, though. Yes, we're going to stick with this. It looks fairly acceptable, um, and it looks interesting. So we'll yeah, stick with it for the day. We're gonna stop for tonight. Thanks very much for watching, and uh, as of next time, hopefully we will be able to have a better functioning deck, and the cards will behave correctly, and uh, we'll also make the I enumerator to send them back into the deck after they've been used. Okay. Yeah. So, which, by the way, reminds me, our whole steel card thing cannot work anymore we forgot that right steel card makes no sense because you you, you don't have an keep inventory them. that's right so we'll change this next time anyway thanks for watching again hope you had a good time and uh, yeah we'll see you next time for episode 18 bye 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 <laughs>